for the uterus to keep them safe and free from all of the negativity that has occurred. And I want you to know that voting has repercussions. If we were still living under a Republican governor, we could be going the way of Texas. But this year, this year, our governor, Michelle Lujan Grisham, made sure that she removed the barriers and the outlaw that uh, would cause for people that had given abortions to be locked up and imprisoned. It was a criminal offense. And she worked hard to get rid of that law. So please, I'm Bernadette Maduro, the president of the Democratic Party of Santa Fe County. Please get registered to vote and know that your vote matters. It makes a difference in so many ways. Go home, get people registered to vote, and please help me welcome MLG, the governor of New Mexico. Thank you very much. Uh, so I want to do three things. One, demonstrating peacefully, COVID safely, and making sure that we continue to fight for justice, fairness, and equality is in fact democracy in action. New Mexico has long been a state that is very clear about abortion, abortion care, reproductive access, and reproductive justice. And if we don't keep fighting for that, we could likely be one of only a handful of states left in the country. I want everyone to wrap their heads around that. These midterm elections are about this issue. They straight up are. The issue where we say this could happen to Roe v. Wade if we sit quietly on the sidelines. Because most of us in my age group have litigated this over and over and over and over again. And the simple fact is we can never stop fighting for our access and reproductive justice to abortion and abortion care. So let's talk about who we are in New Mexico. One, we are one of the top five states in the nation for providing resources that protect women's access. Two, we are working on making sure that contraceptives are readily available, including long-acting reproductive contraceptive work options for women. And in November of this year, we're going to have several pilots in school-based health centers where you have same-day access to long-acting contraceptive care. And you heard Bernadette, the fact that we have that environment here because of you, protecting women and their families, we still had to fight in a democratic majority, in a legislature. We lost it in 2019. We could not repeal the unconstitutional, antiquated, completely inappropriate piece of legislation on the books in this state that said we would criminalize abortion and abortion care. All right. But we got it. it. But, but let's talk about it. We did it last year. We, we did it. It's gone. And one of those arguments 
confidence was, it doesn't matter because of Roe v. Wade. It doesn't matter because we'll never use it. Well, we now have a Texas law, Mississippi, more coming, not just to challenge Roe v. Wade, but to punish everyone. Right? Not just women, not just their families, not just providers, everyone. You do safe shelter, you do safe walking at a Planned Parenthood clinic, you let people be in your homes, all of that, all the things that each of us have done, litigating, fighting, standing up for justice, all of it is criminalized in Texas. So what are we doing today with all of these marches all across the country? We are coming together again. The last time I saw such an incredible, productive crowd was more reproductive crowd. I don't know who said that, but I'm gonna repeat it. Yes, ma'am, reproductive crowd was four and a half years ago in the women's marches all around the world. And it was an example of what we do when we work together. And this is how we protect ourselves, our daughters, my granddaughter, her neighbors, friends, and families, our communities. This is about continuing the fight for equality. There is no democracy when we are attacking and minimizing women. It doesn't exist. So I want you to know that as your governor, I will fight like hell. Not just here, but everywhere. And this is a message to women and their families everywhere. New Mexico is here for you. We work, we work, we'll stay. And make no mistake, every single Republican running against me is not where they need to be on this issue, and half of them have already declared that they will work towards a Texas-style abortion law. So the stakes are high, and I want to make sure that we're clear about those stakes. Even if you have, and we do, a legislature that now collectively doing the right thing, remember that a governor has control over what you spend in health care and in Medicaid. That's 50% of the population. So you may not be able to get a bill passed, but you can stop contraceptive access, access to providers, you can stop all abortion and abortion care. So I want to be very clear, I know what's at stake, and what did I say I would do? I will fight my cow! All right, I'm going to end with, I am proud of this state. Me too! I am proud of the men and women who are here today making your voices heard, making it clear where you stand, and doing it in a way that encourages and invites everyone to stand up for what's right. Yes. To stand up right for a country that needs to protect women's access to abortion and abortion care. Reproductive, if we don't have reproductive justice for us, we don't have justice for anyone. And three, this is the beginning of our fight across the country to win again. And we will! 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 All right, you guys are awesome!